we go. You're being recorded now. Okay, so today we have a really great workout. Um, Marcia was asking about the 800 meter run and we'll do a practice jog of that 800 to start off. Um, but it's gonna be, so there's three parts and each part is for time. So at the end of the day or at the end of the workout, you'll give me three times. Um, the first one will be for the first 800 meter run, which Marcia and I were talking about will take you about four minutes and then you'll come back and rest for four minutes. So you put in four minutes of work and I'm giving you that back. Um, and then we'll have the second part is six rounds of eight renegade rows and then 10 mountain climbers, 12 up downs. So you'll do that six times and then again rest for four minutes. And then the last part is that 800 meter run again. And I'm curious to see if anyone can match their time or beat it. Um, I know Marcia will be running up the hill even faster that second time. <sighs> okay, so to warm up, we're gonna run our 800 meter course. Um, this doesn't have to be a sprint, it'll just be a jog. Um, but it's a good time to, if you don't have the course mapped out, to do it. Um, so let's all run our 800. I don't think anyone's skiing or anything like that, no. Um, so go for a little jog and then go ahead and come on back. Marcia, you're the first one back. Okay, well, let's see. Well, <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I had it. I don't. I'm at. If I'm, if my timing is right, it was a 302. So I need to go a little further. Oh I, yes, I think so. Yeah. So I'm a minute too soon. 
you're a minute too soon yeah so okay. you'll just go two minutes and then come back but that's okay that, that was just warm up okay okay no i got it yeah i think you know it's tough the up and then it, and then you have to run down yeah it's not the greatest i don't think for your knees or i mean if you if you want to do that shorter version because you are going uphill you can do that too I'll see, but I, I'll, I'll, uh, no, I'll try and keep it at what we do. Okay, yeah, just as long as the, the first line. round and the last round are the same. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, well, we'll keep the four minutes. We'll try. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Kim's back. There Kim, I feel like you're getting faster. She is, She's fast. I am not fast. <laughs> when I'm on last Monday or whenever it was, Friday, whenever, when I ran with Marcia and Joe, they blew me away. The, for the, what was it, the 5K? Yeah. No, I, so, I mean, I used to be a runner, but I haven't run in like two years. Yeah. So this is torture for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was running and thinking, Maria, I love you, but I hate this. I know. <laughs> I'd rather run slow. And longer too, but yeah, I have to program what I don't like to do too, you know. Yep, no, I know. It makes it <laughs> okay. Yay, we're all back. So, Kim, I saw that you were doing butt kickers, and that's exactly what we're all gonna do right now. So, I'm spotlighted now, so hopefully, you see me on your full screen. Um, we're just gonna get some high knees. So, we're gonna try for 30 high knees. Keep bringing your knees up nice and high. You're taking little steps. I'm staying stationary, but if you want to move back and forth, you can. Good and now work through some butt kickers. Trying to get that heel to tap the back of your hands. Good. And then lastly, for this running warm up, we're going to do the Frankenstein walks. So I'm going to take 20 steps like this, where you pick up opposite hand, touches opposite leg, and try to keep that back heel down. So try to pick up that leg as high as you can. Any big steps. Arm. Looks like everyone's dancing. <laughs> okay, sweet. I think Joanna left her garage. I did. Gonna, so same thing, lengthening the hamstrings. We're gonna just reach up, get a little bit of a back bend, and then exhale as you try to touch your toes. We're going to move through 15 of those. Reach up and then down. Just drop your head heavy. If you need to bend your knees, you can. I just want you guys to feel the stretch right here in the hamstrings. It's a nice little good morning stretch. <laughs> And then once you get 15, we'll meet in downward dog. And I think I have like three more. And now I see all of us in downward dog. So in downward dog, let's pedal out our feet and get a really good calf stretch. At the end of our runs, we'll give ourselves some little calf massages. Press the chest through the shoulders. Feel the front of the chest stretch and also the shoulders. 
Good, and now come on into plank. Get one push up, and then walk the feet to the hands. And then go ahead and reach up. That's one inchworm. So we're gonna get four more inchworms, and we're gonna add a push up each time. So second inchworm, we'll get two push ups. You can move through these as slowly as you need. And then on your third inchworm, you'll get three push-ups. Those can be on the knees, training push-ups, whatever you like. And then once you're done with your five, again, we'll hold a downward dog. Nice push-ups, Kim. Thanks, Maria. I think everyone's on their last inchworm here. Warming up the shoulders for those push up renegade rows that we're going to get in later on. So, once you're done with those five push ups, come into a uh, downward dog. Swing your right leg over to the front and get into a nice lizard lunge. That will be exactly what you do for your mountain climbers. So let's get some hip circles here. Notice where your foot is. It's right next to your hand. So when we're doing mountain climbers, I want your foot to come all the way up to where your hand is. Try not to cut it short. Good. And then go ahead and switch. Draw your hips towards the ground. Good, and then go ahead and press into a downward dog again. And then walk your hands to your feet and stand all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I have dumbbells here. If you have, if you only have kettlebells, you can use kettlebells for this too. But we're gonna get a set of 10 bent over rows and that'll help us warm up for our renegade rows. So I'm just gonna hold this 25 pound dumbbell in one hand, bend my knees a little bit, and then bring that weight all the way up to my rib cage, keeping that neutral spine. So five on the right, and then switch for five on the left. So this translates directly to the renegade row. Pretend like that dumbbell would be on the ground and then you're bringing it all the way up to your rib cage. So after 10, drop the dumbbells on the ground. And then come into plank position. And you can put your hands either on the weights, and that's a little bit better for your wrist if you have some wrist issues, or you can just bring your palms to the ground. And we're gonna move through 10 up downs. So you just know that you jump up, and fully extend the hips, and then jump back into a plank. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. So, um, I, uh, I, I don't want to do up and downs because of my shoulder. So mm -hmm. I was maybe box jumps, what do you think? Oh, that sounds box great. Or, yeah. Are mountain climbers okay too? I think so. If I do them slow, that's good okay. for my stability. I just don't want to throw my body, you know, up and down. No, that sounds good. So, would you do planks and jumps, box jumps, or just box jumps? Just do box jumps. More or the same amount? 
Same. Same? Yeah. And for Renegade rows, I can't do those. Okay. I think I'm just going to do bend over rows. That sounds great. Yeah. That Maybe. didn't be heavy or I could get a barbell or... Um, yeah, I, I'd rather you go he heavier because there's only eight. Um, and I think with your box drums, you'll go pretty fast. Yeah. But whatever feels better for you. If the barbell feels more secure, then do that. Okay. If you could just, uh, when we're warming up, take a look at my poster because I don't do them often. That'd be great. All right. Thank you. Can you okay. just show us once more your, that, uh, the one with the, the exercise you just did before, what was it called? Uh, uh, up down. Yeah. Can you just show that once more? Yes. And I want to uh, bring attention to my how my body looks in plank because it's really easy to just let the hips sink towards the floor. So I'm going to bring my hands onto the dumbbell, shoot back into a plank. This is our no-no today. So try to push into the floor and then just step up and clap. So Marcia, it's a burpee without the push-up. Thank you. Those are your up-downs, and you'll do 12 of those. So you can step up or jump up. But those should go nice and fast. Yeah, just like Joanna's box jumps. Our next move is the mountain climbers. And so you'll notice that I'm in plank here for a bit too. So I'm just going to swing my leg all the way up to meet the dumbbells or where my hands are, and then come back to plank. You're not switching in mid-air. You're taking it slow, bringing the hips down each step. So let's do 10 mountain climbers. Yeah, I like that the dumbbells are already there for us. It takes some pressure off of the wrist. Is it eight on each side or eight total? It's 10 total, so it's five on each side. Okay. Yeah, you'll notice that these will go fairly quickly and that's why there's six rounds. Yeah. <laughs> and our last movement here is the renegade row. So Joanna's going to pull out her barbell while we have our dumbbells with us. So the renegade row looks like this. You want to make sure that you have some space between your dumbbells so that your chest can come all the way to the ground. So press down for a push up, and then you'll bring the dumbbell to your rib cage. And that's one. And we can do that as a training push-up to lower down and then go in full plank. So let's get five renegade rows. Good Kim, those look awesome. RA with the big weight. So they require a lot of core tension. Try not to swing the hips from side to side. That looks great. So when I did a practice round of this, this took me the most time. So it's okay if you feel like, oh my gosh, these are dragging on forever. I thought it was just eight. Why does it feel like it's taking forever? That's okay. Um, and maybe in round three, um, you'll have to even break them up and that's totally okay. I wanted there to be a movement that was a little bit more time consuming. That looks great, Joanna. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. So Joanna has to work on keeping her spine in a neutral position like we do in deadlifts. And you guys are doing the same thing in plank. You're not letting the hips sag and there's no snaking. So let's make sure that we take a break on those if we need them. Okay, so prescribed is 50 and 35 pound dumbbells. I know that's a little bit heavy. Um, so if you have a heavier set of dumbbells that you want to try, you can go ahead and do that now. I don't know if Kim's grabbing heavier. I do this with 25 pound dumbbells. That's all I have. Um, and, and you guys are good over there. <laughs> um, if you want to do it with a kettlebell, you can too. Marcia, what are you going to use? I've got a uh, 15 pound dumbbell. But I, did I miss something in your, in your, in your, you've got the 800 meter one and it's six rounds of eight renegade rows, mountain climbers and up and downs. And is there one more thing? No, nope, that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. 
And well, and then after there's another 800 meters. Yeah. Okay. I thought there was another thing you showed. Okay. Maybe I'm confused. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll re I'll repeat it just one more time. Um, because this is going to take us quite a bit of time, so we'll want to start in a little bit. But I'll start the clock, and I'll have my phone here. On the timer. You're going to run as fast as you can, 800 meters, and then you'll come back and we'll rest. So I have the clock here, and so maybe you'll you, – ideally, you'd have four minutes to rest. And now I know it'll be easier if we all start the second part at the same time. We'll see how different your times are when you, you're when you come back and we can figure that out. But you'll have four minutes of rest and then we'll start that part two, Marcia. That's six rounds of eight, 10, 12. And then we'll rest again, another four minutes. And then we'll run an 800 meters again. Eight, it, can you repeat eight, uh, eight? Eight renegade rows, so bent over rows for you. Okay. And then 10 mountain climbers. And 12. 12 up downs or for you box jumps. Okay. And then you need three numbers, right? Yes, I need the time of your first run and your second run, and then I need the time after you finish your six rounds. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So I know that all of us will have varying numbers of times and start times and all that stuff, but at least we're going to start the first part together. So I'll be here with my watch to just make sure that everyone doesn't feel lost there. Um, and you can just scream time. I'm gonna keep us all unmuted, but if you wanna mute yourself to put on music, you can do that too, I don't mind. But I'm gonna be here the whole time cheering you on. <laughs> Does anyone have any more questions? No? Okay. Well, you guys know what that means. Go. Okay, does anyone need to get water, go to the restroom? Okay, everyone's responsible and ready. Let me, oh no, I'm not gonna do this. Are you gonna, play the, are you gonna put the timer super huge so that we can see? Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. We're leaving on go. Three, two, one, go.
Kim, three eighteen. So you'll start at seven eighteen. Okay. I'm gonna mute myself now. Okay. <laughs> Put music on. Noelle, uh, 338, and Marcia, you were 337. So you all will just add four minutes to that time. Devin RA, 350. So whatever your time was, you add four minutes to it and then you'll start at that time. So I think everyone's going um, before eight minutes. So we have some 7.37, a 7.18, 7.50. You know when I restart the, the clock? No? Um, if I restart the clock, then it'll, it will be different for everyone. Oh, so everybody rests for a minute. Oh, okay, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of math. If you want to round your time, you can do that. Or I'm going to propose an idea. Um, since you all finished around the same time, we could all start at minute eight if you want. Sure. Does that sound better? Yeah. Okay, cool. So That's we'll just have like a little bit more rest, but I think that will be fine. Kim, does that work for you? Okay, cool. So I'll restart the time when we're at eight minutes and then we'll all go together then for our six rounds. Just a little over two minutes more rest. So now you all have times to beat for the third part. Eight, ten, twelve. Eight, ten, twelve. Yes, eight, ten, twelve, six rounds. We'll start in two minutes. An hour. We're all just going to start at under four minutes. Yeah, we're all going to start at eight. I think that'll be a little bit easier for everyone since you guys all kind of ran around the same time. Is your arm tired? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, need to, I need to figure out how to put the timer up like Jordan does, but I think I need to update something on my computer. <laughs> Okay, he's much more techy than I am. So almost there, we have 90 seconds. So eight is one, two, three. Yeah. Two. Make sure you bring your chest all the way down to the ground and not push up. Okay, one more minute. Music, if you need it. The Zoom classes have made me better at working out without music. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thanks. 
30 seconds. You <laughs> saw that. All right, going in 15. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight renegade. Nice job bringing that barbell up for them, Joanna. Great mountain climbers, everybody. RA and Debbie are on the up downs. Good, they caught up to Joanna. Here comes Kim. Okay, we're at a minute 30, so you guys are all making good time. Each round will take about a minute, 45 seconds to two minutes. Keep a good pace with those up downs. No need to take a break between those. That's round one for a lot of you. Great push-ups. Keep the elbows nice and close to the torso, Debbie. There you go. Marcy, I don't see you, but I'm sure you're doing a good job. Good posture, Joanna. If you want to add a couple push-ups, you can, but there's no pressure there. I love the control. Hurry up. <laughs> Moving with a lot of control, that's ideal. Four. Twelve up downs for Kim with the Ninja Turtle towel.
go, Ari. Those look really strong. Try to keep those hips up high when you come down into the push-up. We are five minutes into this part two. Joanna, one more? Yeah. Awesome. You guys are over halfway done. You got it, Debbie. You too, Marcia. Joanna starting the last round. Oh, Marcia, there you are. Oh, no, missing. <laughs> I'm closer to the screen so you guys can see. Keep fighting for these last rounds. You got it. Forty-seven, Joanna. Oh. So I think you'll just start a little bit before everyone on that run. You'll go at twelve forty-seven. I think eight forty-seven. You finish eight forty-seven. Four seven or three seven? Four seven. Eight seven. Let's go,
Ten minutes in. None, Marcia? So what was it? Ten what? Not four minutes. Run four. Oh, yeah, you'll run in four minutes. So you'll be around 14 minutes on that clock. So write that time down, in whatever it was. You all have one more round. Let's go. Joanna, you have two more minutes of round. Yeah, I'll do it 12. It's been even. Perfect. 12.47. <sighs> Oh, 1247. So I have 13 I'll go. Oh no, 1247. Okay. So if you want to start your clock and run with it. Okay, you, I'll do it. If not, you can just look at this one. Okay, I'll do my clock, yeah. That will be the most exact. Yeah. Right. Last round of Renegade Rose, Kim. All right, and Debbie, almost done. I'm getting the clock a little closer to the screen for you. 11.57, All right. 12.07. All right, so you'll just add four minutes to that time and that'll be the time that you start running. Okay. So it's almost Joanna's turn. <sighs> Come on, Kim, you're so close. <sighs> so look at your 800 meter run time for the first one, and try to beat that one. Go, Joanna. Twelve fifty five, Kim. Kim, so you'll go at sixteen fifty five or seventeen if you want to make it a little bit more exact. Marcia, I think you're going in about 45 seconds. <laughs> so if you guys want to make this a little bit easier, you could take your phone and start the timer. Um, as you're heading out the door and then that way you don't have to do any math or I'll have mine and you can use mine, but totally your preference. Go Marcia, go! How are you feeling, Kim? Good. 
many days early. My shoulders should pop. Still a little bit early, so I don't hold everybody up. If you want, but there's, we'll be stretching. All right. I'll go, I'll compromise and go three and a half minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you do that, you have to beat your old time, though. No, because I'll be even more tired. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're approaching 16 minutes here. RA's off. And everyone's gone. For those of you doing the YouTube, I hope your time was faster. Yay, Joanna's back. Was your time faster? Not. Was it much harder? Uh, it didn't feel harder, but it was longer, you know? Yeah. Three, uh, 3.37. Oh, good. That's still fast. 47, 47, 3.47, sorry. 47. Oh, you were only nine seconds slower. Yeah. Well, that's really good. Great work, at Maria. Oh, thank you. The sun's really hitting me here. Marcia, welcome back. Okay, so I have to tell you, I only did five rounds because I, you know, I have trouble hinging correctly when you jump up. Mm -hmm. I kind of hurt my right hand side. Oh no! So I I uh, only did five rounds. So okay, that's okay. I used to tell you, and even running, but I thought that maybe running, I'll get it out. You know, it's like maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe uh, starting some child's pose or some gentle uh, twists. Yeah, you know, I have trouble. I I jump, but I think I get a little lopsided sometimes. I'm not good in this jumping up to your hands. I, I and I I didn't want to step up. I jumped up so. Anyhow, it's five rounds, it's okay. But I think I'll roll out a little bit. No, I think, you know how when we lay down on the ground and twist, yeah. like kick one leg over, I think that will help a little bit. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Because it's, it's perfect. I, I kind of have a rough time walking. Oh no. Yeah. I have to, I have to improve with that. Uh, I have to practice up maybe on my own. It's, just jumping a bit like a pro. Yeah, or maybe stretching out your hamstrings and your low back a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I think that was um, that was the toughest for me because I was trying to I was trying to perfect it, but I didn't hurt myself, you know. Yeah. Maybe next time we can just take that a little bit slower or do less reps or something. Well, I did. I only did five rounds. Yeah. I felt it. Well, I'm glad that you stopped. Welcome back. Hi, Eric. Hey, we're just missing Debbie. And I think she started her own time. Right. 
Was it better or worse the second time? Better. Yay. I got 258.70. Wow, Kim. How about you, RA? Faster the second round. Nice. Do you think it's because you were more warmed or you just wanted to get it over with? <laughs> <laughs> it hurt more, but I just gave it more. Okay, that's awesome. And you threw down the gauntlet. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for Debbie, we're going to get ready for um, couch stretch. So if you need to put something underneath your knee to give you a little bit of support, or if you need to find a wall, you can do that. Yay, welcome back. 4.30. Great. Woohoo, right on time. A lot longer than that. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into a couch stretch. I'm going to try to do it against this wall, and hopefully it's not too painful. What are we doing? Couch stretch. Oh. So that you... We're doing some couch stretch. Oh, Loosen up the quads. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here. Here. I'm going to hold this for a minute and a half. A Thanks for doing that. Well, I guess I didn't do it with you, but I was cheering you along. Um, Is Eric gonna do it at 4 p.m., Joanna? I don't know. If he's doing his skier weekly challenge, so he might just do the 10K of skier. Oh, nice, nice. That's more of conditioning, so if he's uh, doing it does his runs, you know, maybe he'll try the uh, 800. Yeah, that's true. That'll be fast for him. We have hills here, so it's not like a true 800, you know? Yeah, of course. But it's still good to I'll do it. Yourself, yeah. Okay, I have 15 more seconds here. And switch. Ooh. Out of it and slowly. This floor isn't the softest thing. That's okay. Yeah, okay, I'm starting the other side now. You went faster, honey. Yeah. Hey. So when we get out of this couch stretch, we can type in our times. So that you all will inspire me when I do this at 4 p.m. today. Okay, we're a minute in. Fifteen seconds. And time. Not the most graceful. Thank you all very much. I, my homework.
as Jordan says, he's been giving homework is going to be to just massage your calves a little bit throughout the day. Um, it doesn't have to be right now. It can be like when you're sitting down or when you have a second. Um, but yeah, I think that that is everything I have for you guys. For those of you doing the recording at home, yay, congratulations. Hey, Maria, I have a question. Please. 